Yeah, so, onward, anyway. <laughs> onward. Oh, also, organised. Organised, it's funny, um, another thing I'll relate to you as well. Like we, we were staying with, staying with Sam and Sarah there for a couple of days before we went off on our own, got a motel. And um, I shouldn't say this, but the, the fake tan thing. You know, the girls got fake tans to put on. And to deal with fake tans, there's some special things you need to do. Okay, so um, in, when Sam and Sarah went off early in the morning to pick up Donna and Paul, um, she wanted to be sure that, that Jenny was going to manage her fake tan properly. So what she did, she did a little A4, and she, she drew two anatomically correct torsos <laughs> with little labels on it saying, moisturise well here, moisturise well here. And it was just perfect. And, oh, by the way, if you haven't got any moisturiser, there's a moisturiser in my drawer on the left-hand side of the blah, blah, blah. So this was extraordinarily, this is Sarah, you know, she's organised. No wonder she organised this stuff, you know. That's good. All right, Sarah. <laughs> she's intelligent. I'm very, very proud of her. She's got a Bachelor of Education and Diploma. Isn't that what it is, Sarah? Yeah, so, you know, she persisted with that. Yeah, and Donna as well did that. So she persisted with that and got qualified, and you know that's something that takes a bit of work. So you know, I admire you for that, Sarah. You did a really good job there. You know, you were persistent and you didn't fail anything, which is really good. Yeah. Oh, intelligence. She also has a blonde moments. She had one particular blonde moment that comes to mind. We were driving past a golf driving range. <coughs> And it was actually Frost Road in Christchurch. We were driving down the road, and Sarah looked out and saw these people walking along the berm, you know, and, and they were picking up these white objects. And Sarah said, can you just pick up duck eggs? Like that? <laughs> you know? She didn't, she didn't pick up on the fact that they were the, they were the golf balls that had made it through the fence. <laughs> so, you know... But she, she realised the mistake very quickly. But she was very young. How old were you, Sarah? Probably about 12 or 13. 12 or 13? Yeah. Duck eggs, yeah. That's good. That was good, actually. She was 16. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Actually, Sarah's outdoorsy as well. She likes the outdoors. She likes camping. We used to go uh, camping as a family in O'Kane's Bay for many years in a row. And um, we roughed it. It was really good. Um, so I think Sarah still enjoys that as well. And... Um, and Sam enjoys it too. So you guys have been camping out a few times. So the only thing is, Sarah, there's some, there's some um, Australian animalia that you're not quite too keen on. So, you know, but she is. She likes the outdoors. Yeah, so I was enormously proud to walk down the aisle with you today, Sarah. Um, really. It occurred to me how lucky Sam is to have found someone with the warmth and hey, depth hey, and affection. Hey, yeah. He's lucky. lucky. He's very lucky. Is that right? Yeah. And, and you can come to the mic now and tell us why he's not lucky. <laughs> come on then. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you get, yeah, 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 that's right. You get your chance, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so, so in, in my view, you and Sam are really well suited. Um, I can see that you are. Um, and you'll flourish together as a couple. You really will. So, now Sam. <laughs> yes. Welcome to our family, mate. <laughs> yeah. I've got to got to know Sam probably over the last four years or so. Um, didn't have a lot to do with them when he, when Sarah first met because they were flatting and it was all going on. But over the last four years, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Probably the choice, wrong choice of words, but hey, you know. That's kind of the, 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 uh, the taper-up period, if you like, you know? So, I got to know Sam over the last four years, and um, it's quite good because him and I have got something in common. We're, we're both techies, you know? I mean, when he, comes, when he comes home, we can talk about computers and electronics and those sort of things. So, you know, we've got that bond already, you know, that techie bond, which is good. Isn't it, Sam? Yeah? I, I find... Yeah, I find Sam to be a, a solid and dependable person. Um, I've, I've, you know, he's got some huge attributes, and um, Sarah's very lucky to have him. Absolutely. Yeah, something about Sam too is that 
Sam is, is, is silent, is a quiet achiever. He's, um, you know, in the time that I've known him, he's been, um, and he's involved with the IT industry, and he's been improving his qualifications as he's been going along. And he's done a huge job with that. He's got himself into quite a good position where he's, um, yeah, he's, he's still doing exams today, Sam, aren't you? He's still working through that. So he's furthering his qualifications, and um, as I said, he's a quiet achiever. He doesn't make a big noise about it, but he's a quiet achiever, and um, I, I recognise him for that. So, Sam, I reckon that you, um, you and Sarah are really well suited, and I know you're going to have a great life together. I'm confident of that. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. So now, <coughs> Pam, <laughs> Spooner. <laughs> Verity and Gareth. Now Spooner, you might you you still look at me. What's Spooner? What's a Spooner all about? Yeah, yeah. I told you, told you, told you about. Yeah, we've we spent a little bit, bit of time together, and we first got to know Pam and Brian. We um we talked about some of the things that we might like to do, you know, sometime in the future, or you know, when it was possible. And um, yeah, Brian and I got talking about, hey, well, it'd be really great to um this is after a few bit of lubrication, by the way. We got talking about, well, what would you like to do? You know? do a road trip somewhere, you know, on the big bikes, and, um, and Brian said, well, look, hey, um, you be Dutch, and I'll be Spooner. So, Spooner's stuck, really. I mean, I, I don't call Brian anything else now. He's always Spooner. You have. <coughs> have I called you something else? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll work on that. Yeah, let's work on that. So, yeah, no, so, so, so welcome, to, welcome to you guys, and... Um, what else have I got here to say about that? <laughs> no, we spent. No, look, no, we, we, we spent we spent three Christmases together with with um, uh, with the Webers, and um, it's been most enjoyable. We got to, got to know them really well, and um, yeah, we appreciate we appreciate their their, um, their company a lot. So welcome to our family as well, guys. <laughs> and that's for Verity and Gareth as well. Um, what have we got here? I said I hope you don't mind, Brian. <laughs> so all in all, to Sam and Sarah, today's a huge milestone in your life together. Um, Jane and I know that you're ideally suited to each other and already have a solid base from which will evolve a strong and enduring love for each other and a relationship as a married couple. So, on reflection and recognition of this, I ask you to change your glasses and offer a toast to the bride and groom. <laughs>